Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you have woken up and you are ready to learn. Today, I want us to do some science and uh, we want to continue with the syllabus. Please uh, don't uh, ever miss these lessons. Um, we are learning about water and um, not about the sources of water, not about the, how to store water, how to transport water, not the uses of water, but today, waterborne diseases, waterborne diseases. What are waterborne diseases? These are diseases that are um, spread uh, using contaminated water. These are the water, the diseases spread using contaminated water. And they include <clears throat> cholera is one of them. Cholera is a waterborne disease. Uh -huh. Cholera is a waterborne disease. Cholera is written that way. Cholera is a waterborne disease. Uh -huh. Number two, typhoid. Typhoid. Typhoid fever is one of the waterborne diseases. Number three, bilharzia. Bilharzia. Bilharzia is also a waterborne disease, disease and dysentery and dysentery dysentery and dysentery so the waterborne diseases are, are four cholera typhoid bilharzia and dysentery let's look at cholera cholera for example it is caused by a bacteria it's caused by a bacteria and this bacteria is found in contaminated water it is found in contaminated water dirty water remember you're supposed to boil water before you drink it is spread by house flies house flies um, carry the bacteria from one uh, one water container to another water container it's spread by house flies or from food to food uh -huh. It's also spread by drinking contaminated water. When you drink contaminated water, you can be infected by cholera. By cholera. So it's spread in two ways. House flies and drinking contaminated water. Let us quickly look at the signs and symptoms of, um, of cholera. The infected person with um, cholera may show the following signs and symptoms signs are always um seen on the body they are physical but um symptoms are uh, within the body they are felt within the body number one severe abdominal pain severe abdominal pain severe abdominal pain Severe abdominal pain. You feel pain uh, in your abdominal uh, parts, you know, down the belly. The belly is part of the abdomen. Okay. And then watery diarrhea, which appears white, just like rice water. Watery diarrhea, which appears white. Which appears white, just like like uh, the rice water, rice water, which appears white, white like the rice water, the water found in the rice. You know, frequent vomiting is another sign and symptom. Frequent vomiting, frequent vomiting. Frequent vomiting, you vomit so you lose a lot of water. Uh -huh. Another one, dehydration. As a result of diarrhea and uh, and vomiting, you become dehydrated. Dehydration. Dehydration. Dehydration is the loss of water. Loss of water. Now, through 
vomiting and diarrhea. So when you vomit a lot, when you, you, you diarrhea a lot, you lose a lot of water, you become dehydrated. Uh -huh. uh, the skin becomes dry. Because of dehydration, the skin becomes dry. Dry skin. Dry skin. Dry skin is due to due to dehydration. Dry skin due to dehydration. Uh huh. Dry skin due to dehydration. <laughs> then another sign and symptom: the person becomes weak and the uh, eyes become sunken weak the person becomes weak with uh, sunken eyes sunken eyes Becomes weak with sunken eyes. Uh huh. Another one, another sign or symptoms. If not treated, cholera can kill within 24 hours. Death may follow within 24 hours. If not treated, let us go through these signs and symptoms again. Number one, severe abdominal pain. Number two, watery diarrhea. Uh -huh. White in color, just like rice water. Frequent vomiting. Frequent vomiting. And due to, due to uh, diarrhea and frequent vomiting, the, 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 the infected person becomes dehydrated because they have lost a lot of water. And then because of dehydration, the skin becomes dry. Uh, the skin becomes dry due to the dehydration. Then the person becomes weak with sunken eyes because now there is no strength, he is dehydrated, no energy. Any food that they eat, they diarrhea or vomit. Death may follow within 24 hours if not treated. And so, boys and girls, we need to avoid that. Let's look at the prevention measures of um, measures of um, cholera. Cholera can be prevented. Yeah, it can be prevented and be prevented. Number one, you treat infected people and vaccinate the uninfected people immediately. In case of outbreak, treat and vaccinate uh -huh. during an outbreak. An outbreak is uh, a period when a certain disease becomes dominant. It, it starts and uh, and uh, infect many people at a very sh within a very short time. That's an outbreak. Uh -huh. Then we need to look at proper sanitation. Proper sanitation. What do I mean by proper sanitation? The washing of hands um, frequently, especially after visiting the to toilet. You wash your hands with soap and water and uh, even before handling food you know this uh, covid uh, the covid way of treating of, of um, eliminating the virus uh, is the same way of uh, preventing cholera from infecting you so you wash your hands thoroughly with soap and uh, running water before handling food after visiting the toilet you wash your hands thoroughly number three Proper disposal of waste. Proper disposal of waste. Proper 
proper disposal of waste. Proper disposal of waste. You dispose the waste. Which are these wastes? You know, you know. Uh, you go. You go. You make use of pit latrines and toilets properly and flush them and make sure they are neat all the time. If you have children in their house that need to be taken care of, please uh, you dispose their waste in the pit latrine if possible. Don't dispose their your, the waste any anyhow. Uh -huh. Washing all foods uh, which are eaten raw, okay, currently. Wash. Wash all foods. That are eaten raw. Wash them thoroughly before eating. Wash them thoroughly, like the fruits. Foods that are eaten raw, like the fruits, like the sweet potatoes, like the carrots, you know. Wash them thoroughly before eating them. Yeah? With clean water, of course, not with dirty water. Like we see some some from the vendors there, they wash with dirty water. Washing foods thoroughly before cooking. Uh -huh. Wash foods. Wash food thoroughly. Thoroughly before cooking. Before cooking washing food thoroughly before cooking that's very very important uh -huh. let's look at another um, way of preventing uh -huh. covering cooked food to prevent flies from contaminating covering you must cover covering cooked food cooked food to prevent flies from contaminating it. You cover cooked food, you don't leave it open. So you must uh, have a lid or improvised. Boiling and treating domestic water. Mm -hmm. Boiling and treating domestic water you know water for drinking we get drinking you don't just drink water from the tap directly boil and uh, and treat it if it is possible you know then Boiling and pasteurizing milk. Milk also can be a source of contamination. Boiling and pasteurizing milk. Don't just take cold milk without boiling, uh, and especially when it's not pasteurized. Then, when handling stagnant water, Wear protective clothing. Wear protective clothing when handling stagnant water. When handling stagnant water.